Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Rusty Nelson, and welcome to my gallery here in Kennett Square, PA. If you're ever in the area, please stop by and knock on the door, but chances are you're not going to get me here because I'll be grabbing my camera and going outside to go take some pictures somewhere. But I do love talking to people about photography, so if you're in the mushroom capital of the world, please stop by and say hello. And make sure right now you go ahead and hit... Um, subscribe and a little bell in the preference the way you want to get notified and I'd surely appreciate it. Today we're going to talk about something that well not too many people talk about because it's really not all that interesting but it is pretty cool and they've done some updates over the last few years. The UI on it is much better than it used to be three four five years ago. Adobe Creative Cloud app. Now this is the app that most of you think is just used for updating your software your apps on your computer but there's a few more settings you can do such as the preferences and that's what we're going to take a look at right now if you haven't put a uh, desktop uh, icon go ahead and do that because it is pretty handy and it'll give you a chance to go look and check and make sure that there are no updates once you do that go ahead and click on that and this is what you'll be greeted with now if you take a look at this really quick it is a pretty easy to read um, interface. Along the top, you'll see desktop, mobile, and web. And this is the areas that these different programs can be installed on. Over on the left-hand column are all apps. You can switch to updated apps, ones that need to be updated. And as you can see, there's a number one there that tells you how many updates that you can update currently and that's regarding these installed if you look down here this is the media encoder along the left side you have categories where you can go ahead and click on photography or design and layout video and motion and it just kind of divides up what is available down in this area but for now we'll go ahead and hit all apps and you will see that the upper part of this is the apps that I have installed on my desktop. Up in the right hand corner, well on the left hand side obviously you have the name, right hand corner is just the areas that are the same thing as across the top bar up here telling you where these can be installed. The bottom left hand corner is learn more, the little education hat down there, and that will show you uh, that there are articles and videos that you can go ahead and click through. You can view more, and this is a pretty amazing uh, place for information and education on each one of these apps. Next, you'll see open. That means that you have it installed and you can open it directly from here now i'm not going to do it because you don't really don't want to see me open photoshop going just to the right of that you'll see more actions if it is installed you can actually look through and install older versions or you can uninstall your current version down here is the update you'll see this blue and that means that you can update that particular app. If you go over to the three dots, you will see three selections, open, older versions, and uninstall. I just updated uh, Camera Raw and as you can see down here, it is up to date. What I'd like to do is show you right now where you can go up into File, Preferences, and if you click on apps, now you'll see it when you first open it up, it'll look just like this right here. If you want to start your uh, program, the Adobe Creative, to auto update, click on this and it'll open up each one of these to auto update. Photoshop, and you can select which ones you want to auto update. On top of that, you can also open this up, the advanced options, and you in, can import, choose to import previous settings and preferences. And you can also choose to remove automatically, remove the older version of whatever app you're working with. 
When you click on updates in the far left hand column, you'll be greeted with this view right here. You have two choices. You can update individually or you can update all. So if all these were blue and needed to be update and you went up to update and update all, they will all start updating all at once. Now, obviously you're gonna to have to go grab a cup of coffee and sit back and relax because it's gonna take a while, but it will do it for you automatically. Let's just go ahead and click update and I'll show you what happens. This is pretty easy, there's not much to it. I remember in the old days, boy, I'll tell you what, sometimes this could be kind of trying getting these things to update. The nice part is you can leave the old version on if you like, or you can have it remove it. That's up to you. Now we don't have to sit here and go through this whole thing. We can go right back to here. There's one small area over here that I'd like to show you. And this is just resource links. In other words, this will take you out to um, Adobe Stock, different fonts, Beyonce, which if you're not familiar with it, uh, community for artists, tutorials, great education area, and community support, which is different types of forum and such. Now, as we just did that little bit of talking, it's halfway installed, jump ahead, and that is it. I told you that was gonna be a quick one and I hope you enjoyed it. Please just take a second and hit subscribe and ring the little bell. And uh, I'll be doing a lot more of these Lightroom type of uh, education videos and a lot more stuff because I'm getting a drone in a little bit. I'm kind of excited about that. So I'm gonna start playing around with drone photography. Anyway, my name is Rusty Nelson. And remember your camera is your best excuse for adventure. So get it out of the closet, go take it for a walk, go click some pictures, go meet some people and have a great time. I'll talk to you next time. Hello everybody, I'm Rusty Nelson and welcome to my gallery here.